Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to make this wooden speaker. One of my speakers blew out on my iPhone. It's kind of a bummer. Now I can't hear anything when I'm in the shower. So I'm making this little wooden speaker. That way I don't have to worry about charging it. I can just leave it in the bathroom. So this is a piece of black walnut. I'm just cutting it down to a rough size and then I'm gonna um, cut like some really thin pieces. In hindsight, I probably cut them a little thinner than I needed to here. I'm cutting this like inch wide board into three pieces on the table saw and then finishing it up on the band saw. After the bandsaw, I gotta do a little bit of cleanup work, so I just take a hand plane, make sure one side's perfectly flat, then I can just run it through my planer. Next, we're gonna have to make a jig that involves a table saw sled. I found the easiest way to do that is to first measure the width of your table saw miter slot with some digital calipers. Mine are about 775 thousandths of an inch. Yours will be slightly different. Then just raise the blade all the way up and move the fence over so that the digital calipers fit perfectly in between. And it should be an almost perfect fit. So these runners that I've cut for the sled are just a little bit too wide and that's no big deal. I can just sand them down and then that's a perfect nice little fit there. Once you've given it an hour or two for the glue to dry, you can take it off and then put some screws in the back for some reinforcements. Just make sure that the screws are under the surface of the runners so they don't scratch up the top of your table saw. All right, so we need to make some hexagons. All we gotta do here is set our table saw blade to 60 degrees. I'm using a digital magnetic uh, angle guide thing. The other angle doesn't matter quite so much. It'll just affect how pointy or flat your pyramid is. I did a lot of test cuts here. I tried to make several pyramids and none of them seemed to be working out. It took a lot of trial and error, but after a while I managed to get these blocks glued down in the correct position where I could brace the pieces of wood up against them and make the correct cuts. Laura Comp does a great video on this exact project, although she uses hers as a lamp and I'm just using mine as a speaker, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. And she has a much cleaner um, jig here. Definitely well, more, more well thought out than what I'm doing. Another issue that I ran into a hundred times was when I was taping it together to glue it up, the ends wouldn't match. Like every single time, it would look like this. And it would drive me crazy. Eventually I got it close enough to where it was just a little bit off and then I could just sand it. Once you are finished with sanding, then you can move on to cutting the slot for the phone or whatever device you're using. So my phone is the same width as this piece of plywood and then I'm gonna put two slivers in between the fence and the blade and I'm gonna cut a piece that size. Then I'm just gonna use that as kind of a template to draw my lines on my cone. Not 100% necessary, but it kind of saves me from potentially cutting the slot too large. There's a couple of not perfect glue seams and that's pretty easy to fix, just a little bit of glue and some sawdust.
and with a little bit of paste wax as a finish this project is all done thank you guys so much for watching I had a lot of fun with this one it was also incredibly infuriating at points but uh, we got it done and uh, now I can jam out in the shower so thanks a lot for watching I'll see you next week don't forget to comment like and subscribe I love you